Barely 10 miles from the parking lot where three members of the Al Hilly family were murdered, police were searching a garden today with metal detectors. The man they have in custody is a 48-year-old Frenchman who bears a striking resemblance to this artist's impression of a motorcyclist seen in the Chevaline Forest at the time of the murders. The black helmet he wore was a limited edition. Only 8,000 were made. The mouth shield opens to the side, which explains why three forest workers had a good look at his face. Police have laboured almost 18 months on this investigation. They've built a forensic timeline of events, establishing the position of each witness on the forest road. They've concluded that of anyone, the motorcyclist must have been closest to the parking lot at the time of the murders. Saad al-Hili was shot dead on the 5th of September 2012, along with his wife Iqbal, his 74-year-old mother-in-law, and the French cyclist Sylvain Mollier. In June 2013, his brother Zaid was arrested by Surrey police. The French judges referred to a dispute over a family will. In November, they released the photo fit. There were a hundred calls from the public. But in January, with no further leads, British police freed Zaid from his bail. The last time I spoke to the chief prosecutor, he told me Zaid was still his main suspect, but he didn't rule out any local lines of inquiry. This is someone who puts no value on human life, without doubt someone who's killed before. We're not sure if this was a professional hit. If it was done on a contract, it was very badly done. The house they're searching is here in the village of Talwa. It's a house he rents. Police know that the weapon used in the murders was an antique Luger pistol. And it just so happens that this man, a former policeman, is a weapons collector. What is also of note is that his mobile phone appears in the Chevalier area at the time of the murders. Police are at pains to stress the man they arrested this morning is not yet a suspect. He may still be that crucial witness they are searching. But they continue to question him. And tomorrow they've called a press conference at the courthouse in Annecy. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Talwar.